4.4 number 45, we are going to calculate the limit when x is approaching to infinity, x to the third power times e to the negative x to the second power. Notice that this is not a fraction yet, and what we are going to do is, in order for us to use L'Hopital's rule, our goal is to either get infinity over infinity, or a 0 over 0 situation like this. This is the L'Hopital's rule ready form. This is not a quotient yet, but notice that we have e to the negative exponents. So we can bring this down to the denominator. Then we are going to end up with, this is the same as the limit when x is approaching to infinity. This part stays on the top, x to the third power, over, I will take this down to the denominator, it will be e to the positive x squared, like that. Well, now, if you plug in infinity in here, you get infinity to the third power, which is infinity, over infinity in here, e to the big number, e to the infinity, it's of course going to be an infinity. So, you see that we change the form into infinity over infinity, so we can use L'Hopital's rule, L'Hopital's rule okay in this case. But we, mu we must first make the change like this. Anyways, we are going to apply the L'Hopital's rule, that means I can take the derivative of the top, and then take the derivative of the bottom separately, and then I'm going to continue with our limit. This is the same as the limit when x is going to infinity. On the top, the derivative of x to the third power is just 3x squared. And for the bottom, the derivative of e to the x squared, it's going to be, you first write it down, e to the x squared. But then you multiply by, what's the derivative of the inner function? The derivative of this part. The derivative of x squared is 2x. So you multiply by 2x because of the chain rule. And now this is the expression that you have. Simplify as much as you as is possible. And then you continue. I see that the, the x can be canceled out. I can cross out one of the x here, and then this will be just to the first power. Right? So in other words, this is the same as the limit when x approaches to infinity. 3x to the first power, so it's just like 3x, over 2 in the front, e to the x to the second power. And observe, once you plug in infinity here, 3 times infinity is infinity, over, well in this case, if you plug in infinity here, 2 times e to the infinity power, it's also infinity. So, L'Hopital's rule. Again, Alright, so I think you guys will enjoy that doing L'Hopital's rule because it's actually pretty fun. Alright, <laughs> so you take the derivative on the top, derivative on the bottom, and we'll continue right here. This is the same as the limit when x is going to infinity. The derivative of 3x is just 3. And on the bottom, the derivative of 2e to the x squared, you first copy down this, 2e x squared, but then you multiply by the derivative of the inner function, which is 2x. It's just like the one we did earlier. And now, look at what we have. On the top, it's just a finite number 3. On the bottom, when you plug in infinity here, you get e to the infinity, right? which is going to be infinity, times 2 times infinity. On the bottom, it's just like huge infinity. So this is the idea of 3 over infinity, and we can actually draw a conclusion right now the limit is going to be 0. And this is a nice number. Well, this is also the nice limit for the original limit. That's it.